Meanwhile, listen to this. The nation's report card revealing math and reading scores plunging to a record low under President Biden. But according to the first lady, Dr. Jill Biden, Joe Biden is the solution. I knew that Joe would always be the education president. Well, the first lady was celebrating July 4th with the nation's largest teachers union in attendance, now taking heat for pushing controversial book called uh, Gender Queer on your kids' summer reading list. Our next guest has made education a key agenda on his campaign. Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramswamy joins us right now. Vivek, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. Uh, I, I saw you on with Jesse a week or so ago, and I, I heard you say that if you were president of the United States, you would abolish the Department of Education. But what are you going to do with big unions like NEA? Well, look, I would want to depart, de abolish the Department of Education not because I am anti-education, but because I am pro-education, and the federal government is actually delivering poorer results for our kids. So I would take that money and distribute it to, to states to fund underfunded school choice programs. But in order to receive that, those states have to abolish teachers unions. Full stop. If you're a public school teacher and you are unionizing, think about who you're unionizing against. You're unionizing against the public, the kids you're supposed to represent. That's backwards. We're going to fix it. And that allows those public schools to actually compete against those private schools and charter schools mm -hmm. that aren't encumbered by those same teachers unions as handcuffs. You know, uh, Vivek, we appreciate you joining us today because today at your house, somebody's having a birthday. And to mark that, you've actually got, you've got a, an opportunity for 10 Americans to wind up with big scholarships. Explain what you're unveiling right now exclusively on Fox and Friends. Sure, and this is my capacity as a parent and as a philanthropist, not even as a candidate. What I want to celebrate my first son's first birthday with was his generation and reviving national pride, which is lacking amongst young Americans today. So, Porva and I, we are endowing $250,000 to fund a scholarship fund that will award 10 high school students this year with $25,000 each. That will make it one of the largest and most prestigious high school scholarships this year for them to explain concisely what it means to be an American. You ask most people today, Steve, who are young, what does it mean to be an American today? You get a blank stare in response. I think that's the vacuum of pride at the heart of our national soul. So what we're gonna do is we're partnering with Incubate Debate, a nonprofit organization that teaches high school students how to debate in a concise way, in a confident way, how they can explain why they're proud to be an American and what it even means to be an American. And the awards will be made this fall after the school year gets underway. Well, that is a great program. Uh, we will have the website up again at the conclusion of this interview. And happy birthday, by the way, to your son as well. Um, I, Thank you. I, I'm sure you saw the video uh, last week, uh, RFK Jr., working out with his shirt off. Uh, I know that you have been uh, out and about playing tennis as well. You've got uh, Ron DeSantis, his, his team is putting out uh, his, he was the captain of the, of the baseball team at Yale. Uh, he's got a baseball card. You got Tim Scott working out on a treadmill. You got Francis Suarez, the Miami mayor, running through the city of uh, Miami. You got Glenn Youngkin uh, out on the basketball court. Vivek, what is it about this imagery that's important this election cycle? Is it because the two people on the other side, you know, the, the guy who's leading the Republican side, the guy who's leading on the Democrat side, they are not presenting themselves as uh, doing these workouts. What are you doing? Well, look, one of the things I'm doing is I'm having fun on the campaign trail. I'm actually playing with top junior tennis players and college students across the country right. as a tennis competitive tennis player myself. I do think that when it comes to our commander in chief, it's not a bad idea to have somebody who actually has vigor, who actually is able to bring energy to the table. That doesn't mean it has to be someone who's young or physically fit. But I do think it's helpful to bring that sense of energy to this. I also run 5K races. I also think less importantly than the p politics of it, I think it's also a good gesture to send to the next generation. Physical health and mental health along with it is down, especially amongst mm -hmm. young Americans. I think, Steve, we need to have an open conversation in this country about not only math and reading skills, but also physical fitness, maybe even as part of the SAT or standardized mm -hmm. testing 
to revive that is something that we actually measure. But I believe in not just preaching. I believe in practicing what we preach. And so uh, that's what I'm doing on the campaign trail as well. Well, we just ran the video. You've got an amazing serve. You look like a, a fantastic player. But if you want a lot of votes, I'm, ju I'm just saying you might want to consider pickleball. Everybody I know is playing pickleball. <laughs> I'm playing Pat McEnroe at the U.S. Open. He and I have arranged that over Twitter, so that'll be the next destination. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> All right. So, uh, once again, if people want more information about the scholarships, incubatedebate.org, right? Yeah. That's correct, and, and I'm looking forward and proud of what we see from young Americans across the country. All right. Vivek Ramaswamy, thank you very much, and once again, happy first birthday to your son. Thank you, Steve. All right.